Oh, it's gone white. Okay, I don't think there's anything at that pressure. Let's put a bit of weight on it. Oh uh, yeah, there we go. We've got some down here. Back here. One there. to Crockett FPV and today we have the Type 45 Destroyer. Now this um, does have a couple of twists to it which are uh, not regular model 45 destroyers would typically have. Um, but it, so first of all it's um, going to be radio controlled. I have a motor, have this um, Johnson 5, uh, 540 motor for it. Uh, the speed controller hasn't arrived yet. We're going to be using um, my typical fly sky receivers and nine gram servos however these servos are metal geared um, as opposed to my normal plastic geared ones which I keep stripping annoyingly whenever I try to do something more creative with them anyway so on the front here is uh, the very non inconspicuous gun um, it pivots on this this servo down here it had this band here um, it's just as a counterweight because it's otherwise very heavy up there and it actually just falls off there because I forgot to screw it in so that, well I didn't forget, I sort of, I want it to be detachable so that if you go somewhere and it looks a bit conspicuous having that gun then um, you just take it off. So that slides around there, I'll show you a demonstration of this working in a minute. However it works by this um, band, this slides back and then um, you can see on the inside, there's this hoop on that slidey bit there, which locks, where are we? Oh, yeah, it goes and locks into there. That's supposed to go through both, both holes. And it, yeah. There it is. So that server will go down, lock it, and then it will release it like that. So it's single shot, which is annoying, but I couldn't figure out a way to actually um, to actually get it to reload automatically. But uh, it seems to work. In fact, I get my piece of test foam board. That's some of the holes it puts into it. You can see they even come out on the other side. So I mean that's pretty short range, but strong nevertheless. And the ammo, I've also been developing probably a bit more than the actual gun, but she wasn't. This is it. This is a bolt which has been um, filed down on the end. Go and focus. Yeah, that doesn't want to focus. But um, it's a bolt that's been filed down on the end, basically, to make a point. And I've cut off the um, actual bolt end. That slides up the tube. Go all the way back when this is pulled back, and then there's a magnet under here which um, stops it from sliding out whenever, um, whenever it's angled downwards. And I'll show you a demonstration of that in a minute. There's also these um, these slightly lighter aluminium ones, which uh, I've just literally twisted a little piece of aluminium into and filed down a bit. Seems to work, or um, it can actually also fire these rivet um, ends because the hole is riveted together. Yeah, so this um, this hole is um, aluminium. It's made out of this uh, one, one millimeter aluminium sheet. Um, but this is the aluminium as well, and so is this. That was quite hard to bend into a tube. I ended up getting a drill bit stuck inside it. But anyway, yeah, so the hole is aluminium magnet hatch that's quite neat well probably not neat as the word but um yeah nice aluminium riveted together um, and it's sealed with um this sort of sealant it's sealed with sealant there we go 
Yeah, so that took I think about two goes over the sealant to actually get it to be get it to be watertight, but that's seems to work. Quite a bit of space down there for the motor to go. I can't really go inside it with the camera, but there we are. So I haven't finished with all the superstructure, as is evident, and I'll paint it and everything. I've got to peel this um, cover on the aluminium off. So this servo will swing from either side to make contacts between those two. Um, they're actually washers, but they are contact plates. Um, so connected to that servo wire is the positive from the um, plug there. That will be a 1S LiPo. And then the negative is connected connected directly to the negatives on the hot wires so that whichever way the server goes it independently lights one of the two missiles now the missiles aren't literal missiles they are fireworks as seen in my f-35 video um, I really don't think I'll end up firing these in fact I have no intention of firing these um, okay so at the back here is the anti-submarine net so there's the hinges on here, then inside there's a servo, I'll just twist the servo by hand, I haven't connected up the receiver yet. There we go. There it is. Um, I'm, sometimes it just doesn't roll up properly, but yeah, there we go, that's the anti-submarine net. So that's purpose to catch the um, propeller of a submarine and immobilise it basically, should I ever encounter a remote control submarine that is attacking me. There we are. Um, so this deck is all made out of plastic card, or one, one mil plastic card, as seen here. We've got the aluminium, also at one mil for the hull. And then there's the flight deck at the back, which I intend to fly a little drone off. I'm not, not sure if that's actually going to work. But I don't know, it might end up in the water. Let's hope not. And there's also a hanger which can actually fit the drone in, which is nice. That would be interesting to see if I could actually fly it into there. Here's the plans for it. I've got the rudder at the back, single motor um, propeller. The prope propeller on its shaft hasn't arrived yet either, I've ordered that. There's the net release, a speed control of the battery, receiver, missiles and the cannon up front.